Hello everyone, and welcome to Drake Makes. I've got a pretty simple video this week because I'm currently off on vacation, so today we're focused on adding some simple volumetric fog and enemy AI to my horror game experiment. Every month, Unreal Engine has free marketplace assets that are available temporarily, and this month's free assets included a real banger. I'm talking about Fluid Ninja VFX, a toolset that allows you to work with amazing real-time simulations. And this pack has... options. Lots of options. So obviously there's a lot of potential here, but for today I'm interested in the volumetric fog instances to add some atmosphere to the scene. As you can see by the project examples, there are plenty of interesting use cases here. I noticed how volume fog like this allows you to shape or sculpt the light in your scene, reminding me of the art direction found in games like Inside. So let's add some to our level. So first I opened Fluid Ninja VFX and migrated over the Volumetric Fog Assets folder to my horror game project. Unreal Engine automatically copies all of the references required when migrating assets, so this was a breeze. To use these assets is pretty simple. All you do is create a cube and apply one of the pack's material instances to the object. From there, you can open up the instance like you would any other material and adjust parameters. Quick tip, if you're trying this in your own project and your fog isn't showing up, be sure to add an atmospheric fog volume to your scene and then check the volumetric fog option underneath that. Then your fog will appear. At first the fog didn't look too great because it was emissive and a bright green color, but I kept messing with it. So then I just played around with a bunch of different settings and fog presets, tweaking values and observing what worked. As you can see, you can really drastically change the look by just adjusting a few parameters. A lot of these I feel would serve better in an outdoor scene, so in the end, for this scene, I settled on a simple cylindrical fog volume that caught the light. So I placed individual volumes as separate cubes underneath each light, and then adjusted the shape of the light to control how it spilled through the fog. I think this really ties things together. Using volumetrics like this is absolutely a technique I will bring into future projects. Here's a quick before and after to demonstrate the effect that these fog volumes will have on a scene. for something a little bit more experimental, adding something to chase me around. In my last video I found a fantastic horror template for cheap which added in the first person character controller with flashlight along with enemy AI that chases the player on sight. To prepare for this, first I expanded the level and opened up more doors and passageways so the player doesn't run into too many dead ends. So to add AI into the scene, I drag in the template's chase character and assign a default model. Then I stretch a nav mesh volume across the entire scene so the character can actually patrol. Super simple. Under the character 
character controller, I also adjust the animation blueprint to third person character controller, so he actually runs around instead of just aggressively T-posing at you, which is kind of terrifying in its own way for sure. As I mentioned, for now, this is the default mannequin model. Retargeting is currently looking like this, which is like some HP Lovecraft type horror. But when we bring it all together and it's working as planned, it goes something like this. Thank you for watching! It's been fun messing around with some super simple horror game mechanics. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. This month we're joining another 3D community render challenge, so you're definitely not going to want to miss out on that. I will see you all next time.